Welcome to Police 10-8 Talk. Joel here with you at the workbench. I don't know if you can see it sitting here beside me. Going to put a new uh, rear pistol grip on the CZ Scorpion. Courtesy of Eric from uh, Yeti Works. I've been, like every Scorpion owner, been looking at their webpage trying to decide whether I wanted the Everest or the Matterhorn. So Eric kindly sent me their newest grip, which is called the Switchback, which we have right here. It comes with the Everest and the Matterhorn grip inserts. Slide them on for you here real quick, let you get a look at it. There's the one with the curved back strap. And it's a good snug fit. So there's that one. As you can see, they slide onto this track system. There's the flat one. So after you've decided which inserts you want to use, you take this uh, roll pin that's provided in the package drive it through the hole to secure it. Another neat thing about it is it comes with a rubber grip plug where you actually have a little storage area inside your grip once you've decided which inserts you want to run with. It does work with either one. So what we're going to do here real quick, hopefully, is we're going to take the factory grip off of the Scorpion. Uh, this may require you to use a, a, a rubber or nylon mallet. I couldn't find either one, so I'm using the cushioned handle off of a hammer. So you just tap it off like that while we've got it off. Just take a quick minute here and try and get on a level spot. And you can get some idea of the difference in the grip angles. Here, let me turn it. This might provide a little bit better. I do. You can see the Yeti grips give you a much more up and down grip surface as opposed to the original one that because of the angle it would force your hand up and if you didn't put a safety delete cap on the right hand side this grip angle would drive your finger up into the uh, safety lever which was quite painful to be honest with you. Uh, the grips previously made by Eric at Yeti Works were all 3D printed. This newest style is injection molded. I think it gives it a little bit cleaner, a little, a little bit better look. So now that we've decided what grip panel we're going to run, I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the rifle before I drive the roll pin in. So we just get her lined, lined up and you see how, e how easily that one went on. And then just put our screw back through the grip. Make sure it's flush, make sure we're not sticking out. And guys, there you have it. It greatly improves the appearance of the Scorpion. Gives you a much more up and down grip angle. With this, with the Yeti grips, even if you don't do a safety delete cap on whichever side of the rifle you needed it on, with this grip you can see that even if I had the stock safety lever on here, it wouldn't be digging into my finger at all. 
So guys, uh, you scorpion owners, can't say enough about the Yeti grip. Got to give a big shout out to Eric at Yeti Works again. Check out their website. Uh, I think you'll be very, very uh, pleased with their products. I think retail on this one is $49.99. It comes in black or flat dark earth. It is. Uh, it does count towards your 922R compliance. As I stated earlier, it is injection molded. Uh, dude, what a huge difference. Well, guys, thanks a lot for uh, stopping by. Give us a like or subscribe, and uh, stay safe.